Ajahn, you ask about a question, was a question, what is the world? And then you said something that I really have to consider more. The answer was, what is experience now is actually just a moment ago that is meant by world. Even the experience is not the same anymore. So I found this answer is really something that we have to consider again and again. That is the meaning of Dhamma. What is Dhamma? Is the, if it does not arise, can it be there now? So whatever is there is conditioned to arise by its proper conditions, not the other uh, conditions as well. Its own proper conditions for this and this at this moment. The moment of pleasant feeling, the moment of trouble, see, they are different. What condition it? Why not always happy? Why not? Can anyone make it at will to be pleasant? Impossible. When that which is experienced is unpleasant, it conditions the unpleasant feeling. But how come? to appear as this and that pleasant or unpleasant by conditions. And would that realize the truth of each reality as it is? So he taught everything about whatever is there as it is, to be known, to be static, that actually there's nothing, only Dhamma, the reality. It cannot be taken for anyone or anything. Because it's their condition to just rest and then follow the instantly from moment to moment, but quickly that it can condition the idea from shape and form to be taken for this and that as I too. If they were not there, how can that be the idea of I see, I hear, I think? So in truth, what is there is the absolute reality. No one can make it arise. It has its own proper conditions for its arising. And from developing understanding in all kinds of parami, years and years and years ago, Buddha became enlightened the truth of this very moment as it is. And we learn to listen, to consider what is true, and what is not true, that's all. And the understanding is our reality, not my understanding or anyone's understanding. It has its own characteristic, different from ignorance, because ignorance cannot understand the truth of what is there at all. Its nature is not understanding the truth, because the truth is so very rapidly arising and falling away without hearing and considering the truth of what is there now, it's impossible to let go the idea of I from birth up to now, and not just this life. Years and years life for two, and the future, years and years ahead. Just learn to understand what is true, that's all. And one cannot have such understanding by oneself, but after hearing the words about it, it's time to consider whether what is right and what is wrong, what is true and what is not true. If there's no birth, how can there be kunina or sutin? But when there is birth, it's taken for this and that different people or different things. And then gone at the end of the life, never to return at all. Is that true? So what is the best thing in life? What is the best moment? It's the moment of understanding the truth of what is there now appearing. 